in today's video, I give you three drills to help you with your leg action, that not only help you move a little bit faster, but also make you rotate a little bit more. Also, I end the video with a little challenge, so stay tuned for the challenge of the day. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm giving you three drills that will revolutionize your leg action. Let's get straight into it. The first one is probably something that you've never seen done before because what you've probably usually seen are backswing drills where we step to the right, then as you pull the club, you will step to the left. And so if you've seen a couple of my videos, the myth of leg action, the early extension uh, fixer, and the you must pull the club from the top video, three videos that I really, really encourage you to go and watch. I talk about through the pressures through the feet and the interaction of the handle and how that works. And that's really what's inspired me to give you these three drills today to help you start to apply some of those philosophies that I promote within my channel. The first one, I want you to set up to the golf ball as you would do normally. And then what I'm gonna get you to do is draw your left foot to your right foot. As you do that, I want you to draw the golf club back to the middle of your stance. Now, as you make a backswing, I want you to move the golf club back and you're gonna step left and you're going to put your left foot back into the spot where it was in your usual address position. Swing back and step left. What you're doing is you're loading the right foot and you're creating an energy that's pushing you into your left foot. As you swing the golf club around you, what will happen is the mobility in the right hip will make your pelvis start to rotate more. In doing so, it will then allow your chest to rotate more. Not only that, what will happen is by the time you now reach the top of the backswing, you'll start dumping pressure and force into your left foot. What we see most good players doing. Funny enough, I saw Ian Poulter put something up about his leg action in his golf swing. And again, look, he's a good player. And, and we look at uh, the many ways of, uh, of swinging the golf club. And I don't promote that this is the only way, but it's just the way I see it. He talked about in the top of his backswing how he's got himself loaded into his right side to push off. We look at the most explosive players now and it's completely the opposite way around. So back to the drill, we set up, draw the left foot back, we make a backswing, we're going to step across and load into the left foot. And you can actually hit shots like that. So address yourself again, it's quarter past seven in the morning. No balls hit, first one out the bag. Why do I do it to myself? So we're gonna feet together, we're gonna to step to the left, pull the golf club and hit. And two and a half down, or 2.7 down, from the inside at six and a half, and a little draw swing. Let's go again. We're gonna to step to the left, pull the golf club, and then four and a half down, inside out, 5.8, and the face close to path, it will draw. So hopefully you can see the application in that drill. Now this is a bit controversial to probably what you see a lot of on the, on the uh, social media and the other videos out there. So what we're now gonna do is give you a drill for your downswing. And so what we're going to do is now do the opposite. We're now going to take the right foot and put it into and level with your right foot, and level with your left foot. And what we're going to get ourselves to do is get ourselves to the top of the backswing. So feet together, you're going to make a top of the backswing position. And then what you're going to do is as you pull the golf club down, you're now going to push from your left foot into the right foot, strike the golf ball. And as you strike the golf ball, you're gonna keep that right foot on the floor. So, feet together, back swing, gonna to pull on the golf club, 
swing and sit back onto your right foot. And what that'll do is hit a very straight golf shot. <laughs> so, it's interesting, isn't it? And I, and I hear this a lot. If someone spoke about sitting back into their right foot, they would immediately think they'd hit more up on the golf ball. But understand, if the left hip is going back, then the right hip's coming forwards. And so this pressure that we use down through our left foot is the accelerator of the right side. The accelerator of the right side through the golf shot. And what you'll actually feel is the golf club start to finish much lower. And for all you inside outers out there, that'll feel really alien. But you can just see my golf club swung pretty darn straight at 4.6 down with a straight face angle. So we'll go again. Feet together. I'm gonna make a back swing. As I pull the golf club, I'm gonna step across to the right. And as I step across to the right, finish flat on my right foot, and the golf club swings around. I've hit even more down at 6.4. Path dead straight again, face a fraction open to the path. That's a face issue, not a path or an attack angle issue. Understand that that drill will really make your right side accelerate. Now, I'm not promoting the fact that you should keep your right foot on the floor. I'm just promoting where the energy is coming from in the downswing. The final drill is a beauty. Get yourself into your kid's game box uh, or toy box. Get their uh, tennis ball, cut it in half, or you could spend 25 pounds on the most overpriced uh, swing aid there is out there, <laughs> this little bit of rubber. And what we're gonna get you to do is concentrate on where the pressure is going through the toe and the heel of the foot. What I want you to do is I want you to, in your backswing, shift the pressure into the toe and in your through swing into the heel. So this, uh, or half a tennis ball, gives you a little bit of pushback. We set ourselves up to the golf ball. At the top of the backswing, I'm gonna create a force into the toe of my foot. So I'm gonna squeeze the tennis ball. And then in the through swing, hey, they're coming out straight today, huh? <laughs> and then I'm gonna move the tennis ball back to the heel. So technically, this is four drills that I'm giving you, not three. Don't forget to hang around because I've got a little challenge for you at the end. Now, I'm gonna move into the toe and I'm now gonna squeeze it into my heel. So into the toe and into the heel. And you actually see my toe popped up there and spun around. Understanding the pressure in terms of how it goes from toe to heel is something that a golfer really needs to feel and appreciate. Having something under the left foot gives you that opportunity, a great little drill. Hopefully you've understood that those three drills get you to feel how you move the force around your feet to make your lower half more mobile, allow your chest to become more mobile, and therefore make the golf club work a little bit more efficiently. Now here's my challenge. Your challenge is to go down and I'm gonna do this on all my videos moving forwards. Nick Doddy spoke to me about how I need to sign off these videos and intro these videos. Well, hopefully uh, that's gonna evolve over time, but I wanna end each video for now with a challenge. Your challenge is the next time you go down the range, take one of those drills and make it last the whole session long. Not just two shots, not just five shots, not 25 shots, the whole session long. Concentrate on that drill alone, the whole session long. One of the four drills that I actually gave you today. And see how it goes. 
evaluate your practice session and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Today's been a great day. I've really enjoyed it and it's only 7.25 because I've really enjoyed this video and hopefully you've enjoyed it too. Give me a like and subscribe while you're here. Share with your friends. And as per usual, I will see you on the next one.